how to purify the work so that it, you become the vision and not the person that has a vision or a person that owns the vision. Because then, you know, the vision will have to pass through your distortions in order to manifest and then it'll just be about you. It won't be the vision anymore. So we see the vision, we get really excited about it, but usually why we get really excited about it is because of what it can mean for us. Like, oh, then I'll be the best spiritual teacher in the world. Or, oh, then I'll be recognized for my skills. Or, oh, then I'll be, like, rich. Or, then I'll be famous. Or, then I'll be this. Or, then I'll be recognized. Whatever it may be. Anything along these lines. But if you can come to a point where you can sacrifice your self-image to transcend the personal needs and preferences and biases and wants for the sake of becoming the greater good of humanity in energy and frequency, in state of being, in state of consciousness, in action, in thought, in feeling, in breath, in everything. That's one of the skills that we have. That's one of the most potent skills that we have is to be a vibrational radar. We're protecting the vision vibrationally. So how to purify the vision within yourself? Because you all have a vision. You're all plugged into something. You're all carrying some code to the blueprint of the collective's benefit. So it may be filtered and distorted through vanity and through insecurity and through past abuse, self-abuse and abuse by others. So you may filter it through like needing a lot of validation and that's why this work is so important. And that's why what we've been focusing on so much as well is really getting super clear on the ground work. And you'll see this will endlessly benefit you. Cause we don't really have to teach you bliss. If we can teach you where you're out of alignment, bliss will teach itself, it will arise by itself, by the very nature of you clearing out your closet. Hardly ever is it about becoming something, it's almost always about unbecoming what you're not. It's usually a much more direct approach in many ways. So you've been doing beautiful work and we encourage that you continue to do that beautiful work and I guarantee you it will not be done overnight. It will continue to be a process, but you'll feel so amazing every time you purify yourself. Not as a person, you'll just feel true, you'll feel plugged into God. You feel plugged into the vision. And every time you do that, you delete a little bit more of your person identification. <laughs> and you replace that with vision identification, or beyond that, identification with all, and or nothing at all. Consciousness that shifts from identification with a body, mind, person living for its own personal security and gratification and validation and needs and wants to actually plugging into a vision and becoming that vision, breathing that vision, having your motivations come from I being identified with the greater good of all, which is the vision. It's not my vision. You get that? It's all of our visions. It's the vision of all 7.5 billion people plus several billion cosmic beings. It's the vision. It's the vision that is built into the collective at this particular space timing nexus of where we're at in the cosmic evolution. It's, it's an all comprehensive thing like clockwork. This is where we're at. If you can read the clockwork and understand the clockwork is why you're here not to validate your little petty needs then you can become a shepherd. You can become an ambassador for that vision. And throughout that process, you'll continue to have to purify yourself. Where am I coming from? Not just what am I talking about and look at how cool I am talking about it. And I'm serving the greater good because I'm talking about it. No, you can talk about it and completely be in the vibration of self-gratification and not actually benefit at all. You'd still be polluting the earth, its energy field. And with that also its manifest form. Do the work, do the work, do the work. Those who are more excited about doing the work than anything else are ready to be shepherds. They will become the equal vision of all. And thus then, they will show up in powerful ways and when they have to, they'll stand out no matter what that looks like. Then you become immortal. If you become identified with the vision, you immortalize yourself, you see? As long as you keep identifying with the body, you will be reborn because that's what you believe. If you become the vision, 
you will ascend to that process of devotion and commitment. You will ascend this gain. And from a space of being more ascendant than the majority, you can be a window into possibilities. You can show them what they're capable of.